Hello, Starseed Chosen Ones. How are you all doing? Hope you all are having a great and wonderful day and doing well. I am doing the same. I have another message for us. So let me go ahead and invite the Holy Spirit and our spirit team so we can get started. Sweet Divine Holy Spirit, we welcome your presence now. Emmanuel, God with us, you are welcome. Yahweh, we welcome you. Ancestors of the pure and divine white light and our spirit guides, we welcome you as well. Come and speak to us, commune with us, tell us what we need to know. We thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning, keeping us safe from all hurt, harm, and danger, covering us with your blood, letting no evil come near us, nor our dwelling, giving your angels charge over us to keep us in all of our ways. We thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. Thank you for your consistency. Thank you for your amazing grace. Thank you for your unconditional love, your kindness. We thank you, Lord God, for providing for us every day of our lives. We thank you for healing us in every area of our lives. We give your name, praise, glory, and honor, God. You are worthy to be praised and worshipped. We glorify your holy name. We magnify you, God. We thank you, Lord. Sweet, divine, Holy Spirit, I ask that you speak through me now to give this message to your children. Tell us what we need to know. Show us what we need to see and be aware of in this season. And for that, we give your name praise, glory, and honor. We thank you for hearing us. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Thank you all so much for all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. I truly appreciate you all very, very much. Thank you for your love, support, and your kindness. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're so glad to have you here, a part of our Starseed tribe and community. And if you are returning, welcome, welcome back. So glad to have you back. All right, Starseeds, let us go ahead and get in the message. I hope you all had a great weekend. Um, I know a lot was going on in the energy and the spirit realm. Um, as above, so below. But here we are on the other side. All right, so let us get into the message. Take what resonates for you and your situation. Leave the rest. God know who he's trying to reach. I don't. Just here being obedient and giving us the messages. All right, so this message could be about you or someone else or both. So take what resonates for you and your situation. All right, so um, there has been a lot um, going on in the energy, um, especially with the new moon. Mercury retrograde and also um, the lion's gates. There are a lot of people who were warned many times to stop sending negative energy towards you, witchcraft and black magic and voodoo and all of that. But you know, of course, they did not listen and they still uh, took the chance, took the risk and sent you all more energy and was stopped in their tracks. So game is over for a lot of people. Um, the tables have turned. It's a changing of the guards, a shifting in the atmosphere. And a lot of truth has been revealed, uncovered, exposed, and illuminated. It's pretty much game over. Um, they were praying checkers and you were playing chess. And it's checkmate time, pretty much. And so um, there's a lot of people um, coming to the realization and awakening at this time. Um, there's a not another wave of awakening of the people that we live with, with here on Earth. Um, a lot of you all woke up, you know, a while ago, but there were people who were still sleeping, um, but th they're waking up now, and a lot of them have awake awakened, and they're being called to action, 
um, God had been calling them a long time, but they were refusing to answer the call. But now with everything that has been illuminated and exposed concerning the people that they trusted and thought had their best interest in their mind and their hearts, and they're seeing that these people were their enemies the whole time, people are waking up and um, taking action. It is time to take action, to do something different. If you want something different, if you want some more and going on in your life, if you want more for yourself, for your future, for your children, for your generations, it is time to take action. And so there are some people here who um, have decided that they choose themselves and they choose the will of God for themselves. They choose what God wants for them. And this could be you or somebody else take what resonates. So this person um, is putting a end to things. There's a lot of endings going on and new beginnings happening at this time. So this is a, um, this could be a masculine energy or a feminine energy, but somebody is taking action here to put a end to some things that has been going on in their life or some people that they were connected to that no longer serves them. They are putting a death, an ending to it. And this can also be a some physical death as well, because there are some people who are warned not to come back in your energy with their foolishness, trying to take you out one last time during this lion's gate and this um, new moon energy. And they did anyway. And they were warned that they were going to meet their maker. Um, and so I hate to say it like that, but it is what it is. Warning always comes before destruction. But... And God will not be mocked. So they thought God was playing, but he was not. So there are some endings of things and people, people making changes and putting an end to a lot of things. So take what resonates for you and your situation. Um, whoever this is, this person is um, no longer in an illusion. There's an ending to all the illusions, the trickery, the phoniness, the fairy tale. Uh, somebody may have had them in an illusion and they are putting an end to that. And they're seeing that these people were trying to block them. So they are making, they are taking action. And letting people know that they can no longer block them or stop them. And this person could have been dealing with somebody who did not love them, was just only in their energy or around them, in their company for financial gain. And so also this person um, could be somebody who was um, severely hurt by love in the past and so it made them afraid of love. It made them operate in this non-committal um, player type of energy and um, so they just collaborated with people for things on the shallow, nothing deep or committed, excuse me. And so, but now this person is realizing that they're very, very unhappy. They were very, very unhappy. Um, they were just going with the flow, trying to fit in, um, trying to be accepted or liked by a group of people or a group of family members. 
And so this person is like, you know what? Enough is enough. I am taking action. I am doing what is best for me, what is best for my life, um, what is in alignment with the will of God for my life. And they are cutting people off and realizing that there's no, uh, nothing is growing in the situation that they were in. Nothing is progressing or moving forward. There's no uh, love. There was no real love in the situation. There was no, um, no flow. There was no, um, you know, Holy Spirit, Spirit of God. Nothing was flowing. They were in a barren land, bearing no fruits, but being, you know, connected to a bunch of people who cannot bear any fruit. Nothing, nothing can grow in that situation, like um, legally or like with integrity. So this person has um, stood up and they're taking action. They're taking their rightful places as kings and queens and moving forwards. Letting go all of the illusions and the deception, the trickery, um, listening to other people's advice and their bad intentions for their life. They're letting that go. Um, And removing themselves from groups or friends groups or organizational type groups, coven groups or whatever. They're um, dismantling all of that and walking away from this situation that had them barren, bearing no fruits just constant karma karma and drama and always conflict and confusion. And so this person no longer wanted to be in the same position that they were in now, next year. So they are taking this action and letting go of what no longer serves them and leaving people, places, and things as well and so this person is taking action and they're speaking their truth they're telling people exactly how they feel um and that nothing is growing here so like what are we holding on for what are we hanging on for if this was a relationship they're telling a karmic feminine energy that nothing is growing here i'm not able to progress with you. I'm not able to produce anything with you. I'm not able to manifest anything good. My life is just pretty much wasting away. And I'm doing all of this to please all of you all. This could be family members, um, friends, trying to spare your feelings. But on the inside, I'm dying. And I'm empty. And I have a void. So this person is speaking up and speaking their truth and being assertive at this time, taking action and telling people exactly what they need to know or what they don't want to or what they don't want to know. They're telling them that this is not an equal give and take. They're not receiving anything in return from their investments and everything that they have put into this situation and so now they're no longer refusing to see and this is causing a tire moment in a lot of people's lives at this time in the lives of their karmics that they chose in the lives of their families that were in on it trying to cause them to commit to this person or marry them just so their life can be stuck and stagnant And they would be pretty much crabs in a bucket with them and not move forward in life. And so this is causing a lot of uh, chaos and destruction. Everything is crumbling and falling apart. 
there's a lot of people that are heartbroken over this, that this person is um, making this decision and and they were codependent upon this person. They did not know, they didn't pr- pretty much didn't have a plan B. This person was their only plan. They was codependent upon this person. They was never thinking that this person was going to switch it up on them and take action and realize what was going on here and how they were being controlled and manipulated in the situation. And so um, there's a lot of uh, destruction and chaos and confusion. There's a lot of breakups and shakeups, divorces and everything going on at this time. And so this person is telling these people, I'm letting go of the past. I can no longer hold on to the past. I can't hold on to my past hurts, my past, you know, shame, my past relationships that didn't work out. I can't stay, you know, being afraid of real love and afraid to move forward and to try something new and different and to be happy. So they're telling these people that they want to be happy. They want to be a happily family with you. Um, They want to, um, you know, have this married life with you. They want to build and and grow with you. They want to have emotional security and fulfillment. Or this is you, you know, saying that you cannot wait on your past person anymore. Um, You have to let that go and let God pretty much because nothing is happening. Nothing is progressing. And so you need to let this past go so that you can move into your next cycle, your next chapter of life and be happy and move forward and have victory and success. Like I said, take what resonates for you and your situation so you can have these birthright blessings, um, generational wealth, breaking generational curses, and um, leaving an inheritance for the generations following. The Bible says a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. And so there's a lot of people who are um, just having an epiphany um, a light bulb moment, a revelation at this time on this day with everything that has gone on in the past and people are just ready for more for themselves, for the people that they love. They're tired of being stuck and stagnant. And so this person could also, um, they're in massive regrets that they turn their back on you or they're in regret that you turn your back on them because they were not ready. They were still operating in their pride and their ego um, and being very, very stubborn. They didn't commit and you walked away. And so this person, um, they no longer want to be separated from you. But a lot of you all do not have any um, romantic feelings for this person anymore. And this person is praying that, you know, this would change between you and them. And this could be a a twin flame person, um, but it doesn't have to be. Or it could be a a, a higher level soulmate as well. Um, That this is somebody that you never really had a a relationship with. You met them. Y'all met each other. And it was just not the right timing for you or them. Y'all had interest in each other. But this person still had to go through some things. um, Had to grow through some things and learn some lessons. And you also, you also had to um, continue healing as well. So now um, that both of you all are ready, because two, two can't walk together except they agree, 
both of you are ready now at God's divine timing, then he is bringing the situation back together. But, you know, you know what it is for your situation. And please take what resonates for you and leave the rest. And make sure you are consulting your spirit team when it comes to these twin flames and also um, soulmate connections. Um, Because you know what your your spirit team is telling you about these twin flames and also some of these um, soulmate connections. Some of these people you're not supposed to go back to for various reasons. Um, So just make sure you're seeking God first before you deal with people, places, and things and you will be fine. But nevertheless, people are waking up at this time and you also are, Sarsis are entering another level of ascension as well and realizing that you you want more for yourself and um, you've healed and you deserve something and somebody that is a vibrational match to um, your growth because a lot of you are not the same person that you used to be when you were dealing with these twin flames or you know these soulmate connections so this is a call to action for everybody so yes um, this could be a, a divine masculine as well that is in massive regret and they're uh, doing a lot of praying at this time um, this person has awakened um, they have been healing and you know doing their um, shadow work And God has been dealing with them and working with them, their spirit team as well. And so a lot of them are praying, but they know that they see now that you are not the shady one, that they were connected to shady karmics and family members and friends. And um, you have moved on and letting go. You're loving you at this time and you're free from this whole situation. But they're praying that it's not too late. So either you or this person is not being controlled by control tactics anymore. Um, People are realizing that they were being controlled either by lovers, family and friends, you know, co-workers, bosses, business partners, whatever. Um, But they're putting an end to this or you're putting an end to things. And um, they're no longer letting anyone control them with fear tactics and limitations. They're guarded. They have their guard up or you have your guard up um, and you're heavily protected as well. Have set very, very strong boundaries. And so uh, people are uh, realizing that this fear that they had, whether it was fear of uh, relationships and commitment, fear of love um, based on the things that they went through in the past, or was fear of stepping into the unknown or stepping up to be a leader and not a follower, Um, you know, just fading in the background and not stepping up to the plates. Not, um, you know, having the confidence or um, the assurance in themselves of who they are. They're no longer letting fear control them pretty much or you're no longer letting fear control you and limit you and keep you... uh, secluded, keep you um, in hermit mode, you know, hiding from the world or whatever, running from your your purpose, your calling, not answering the call of God. No, this is the end to that today. Um, This person is no longer letting fear stop them or you're no longer letting fear stop you and limit you. You are guard, have guarded yourself against that and you have been, you are resistant towards that. 
you set strong boundaries. And so this, um, the illusion is broken pretty much and it's over. Game is over. The cycle has ended and this has somebody in deep regret and sorrow. This has somebody very, very sad that they cannot control the situation anymore. They can't control this person. And it's a karmic feminine energy here that is deeply hurt and um, heartbroken and sad that they cannot control you or they cannot control um, this person. Or this could be friends, family, um, businesses, you know, your place of employment, your boss or whatever. Um, but yes, whoever this is, they're seeing that they have lost control. They have lost their uh, footing. They're no longer in control of you or this person or any situation that they were trying to control. And because you have found your strength or this person has found their strength, you are too strong for them. And a lot has been illuminated about um, this karmic feminine. This could have been a lover, a boss, a mother, auntie, sister, cousin, um, a business partner, a best friend, anybody. This person is seeing now that they're no longer in control and this is not working out in their favor. And they're not receiving any abundance. This person was very, very ungrateful whoever was doing this, they were not in the present moment. They were stuck in the past and they was trying to, they was thinking that they was going to receive something out of this situation by, um, casting all of these illusions and projections onto you all or this person. They didn't ever think this person was going to wake up to who they really are. They thought they were going to stay asleep so they can continue to um, control them with these control tactics that they were using. They didn't, they didn't want this person to get the message. Or this person could have been tampering with your dream state, trying to take your messages and your downloads. And they have been caught and they're in deep regret and sorrow at this time. because they can no longer cause illusions and confusion about you. You know, saying that you are the slacker and the stalemate pretty much, but it was them the whole time. And they was a slacker. Um, being a copycat, this person really wanted to be you very, very bad, which is very uh, strange and weird. Um, and they were doing anything and everything to cloak themselves in your energy and to cause people to believe that they were the star seed chosen one and you're the karmic. But that did not work because you can't be illegal in the spirit realm. You don't think everybody's watching, they see you, the ancestors, the angels, archangels, spirit gods, and God is watching. And so now this person is seeing that um, they took all of these crazy actions towards you and towards um, this person and they could not compete with you. They cannot compete where they don't compare. And they thought they were going to get away with this and this could have went on for some years. So they thought they were going to get away with it, that they were, you know, it was, they was comfortable with it. They was uh, caught off guard when everything blew up in their faces and the truth was eliminated and exposed. Because they wanted this person to choose them very, very bad. And now they're mad and upset. There's a, um, a karmic feminine here who is very upset and also a karmic masculine that could be a water sign that is 
very upset or this person is this karmic feminine is just was operating in masculine energy and they're just in their feelings at this time because they have lost control over this situation they thought they were in control but god is in control and um it is divine timing for them to see that they were never in control of the situation of you of, of anybody else especially if you can't control your own self if you don't have no self-control for your addictions and obsessions this person was very 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 obsessed very obsessed like strangely weirdly obsessed with trying to um be you or trying to take your um your breast right your birthright blessings and the promises of God for you from from you they were thinking that they could take the gift out of God's hand that belongs to you the gifts that belongs to you and for a lot of you all this person was trying to take your spiritual gifts so that they can cause people to believe that they were the ones who were intuitive and that they were the star seed chosen one and you are not you were the the karmic they was trying to actually take your spiritual gifts take your your downloads um take your prophetic dreams and visions but all of that was protected for any of you who um are feeling like dang i used to have a lot of prophetic dreams or i used to have a lot of uh, visions but i don't have them anymore I don't I haven't got any visions in a while or whatever and God wants you to know your spirit team know they did not take your spiritual gifts um, they were being protected so your spirit team your ancestors that could have been shielding and protecting your spiritual gifts at that time um, and wasn't giving you any um, prophetic dreams or visions so this person could not steal anything while you're in your dream state but they want you to know and be reassured that your spiritual gifts are yours and you still have them and um they're going to be starting back things are starting going to be started back um being revealed to you now in this season in this month now that everything has come to a fruition and a closing of a cycle and it's divine timing now and um, your spiritual gifts are going to make room for you your spiritual gifts is going to have you living in the moments have you um, abundantly blessed and at peace and in harmony because of everything that you have achieved and went through you're receiving double for your trouble and a lot of you all are going to be receiving extra gifts from your ancestors and from these people who are trying to take your gifts so don't be let that be your concern if you were concerned about that your gifts are have been protected and they're going to cause you to be very very wealthy and abundant in this season and a lot of you are um stepping into your um your spiritual work, your uh, you being a light worker, a reader, a healer, um, whatever God has called you to and purposed you and giving you gifts for for your purpose in this lifetime. And I'm also going to be um, giving you all um, another message with those gifts as well. So that will be coming soon so this person is highly upset that they have um, been found out they have been um, all the skeletons have fell out their closets um, the covers have been pulled off and everybody sees them for exactly who they are and this could be um, a group of people, whoever, you know who it is for your situation. 
So this has people very, very mad, very angry. Um, they were being very, very insensitive towards you, uh, portraying to be tough, coming at you in very, very, very aggressive energy um, because they were lazy, did not want to do their inner work. So they were trying to steal your energy and steal your your gifts. You would put in the work, did your inner work, your shadow work, your healing, and they were trying to steal your healing energy so that they can manifest and get through life instead of just going somewhere and healing themselves. They try to take the easy way out, try to cut corners, and you can't do that. It's still going to all fail and crumble, and you're going to waste so much time, and then you're still going to have to do the inner work if you want to be prosperous in life. Faith without works is dead. You have to do something. You have to take an action. You have to heal from your trauma, heal from your childhood wounds, heal from your past relationships if you want to move out of stagnation and move into a, a land flowing with milk and honey, a land where water, rivers of water is flowing, um, being planted by rivers of, of water so that you can bear your fruit in due season. You have to do the work. Everybody got to do the work. Is no exempt. Nobody is exempt from the universal laws and how the universe has been set up for us to manifest. You have to be healed. Your emotions have to be in check, in balance. You have to have the faith. You have to know who you are. You have to take action. To have a manifestation. And so this person or these people, they're having ego deaths at this time. Um, because they're no longer in control of you. The things that they were doing to try to control the situation, control you, your love life, your finances, your businesses, your relationships, your children everything they're in a dark night of the soul because these people that they were trying to control is coming out um there's a death and rebirth happening the ego self dies and people are being liberated and freed and empowered and awakened and this is a evolution time pretty much and you, we all see it, you know, based on our upcoming election and um, the running mates. It's about to be a time of revolution. People um, taking their power back and standing up for their rights and for integrity. And I'm not, um, you know, talk, getting any, get into any politics things. I'm not telling you who to vote for or anything like that. I'm just using that as a example of the time that we're um, embarking, embarking upon and people taking action in this season, no longer being stuck and stagnant, no longer pretty much waiting for presidents to uh, change things in their community and their life, and but taking charge and control over their own life and knowing that it's things that they need to change for themselves and for their bloodline if they want more. Knowing who your God is, because these presidents are not our gods. Uh, they're just our leaders, you know, where we live. But God is our ultimate leader, and we're being lead, led and guided by him. And so this, this has people um, very upset and very angry. Um, people on all levels who are trying to control people. And so they receive getting a message that everything is being balanced out for um, the people of God. They're receiving the message. It's being communicated to them. So this has them very um, mad and upset and angry in this Mars energy that is out of balance. Um, that people are waking up and coming into the knowledge and the understanding of who they are and who they belong to. 
and the power and authority that they possess and stop giving people their power and their authority and control over them. And so um, this Empress energy here is strong. Um, people are going to be producing things and manifesting and moving forward and progressing and inventing, creating, because we are in the age of Aquarius, which is progressive energy, innovative, free spirits, not being controlled and bound by anything or anyone, using their imagination to create, tapping into their creativity to create, because being in the slave system of working Jobs is just keeping you in a never ending cycle that's keeping you stuck on a fixed income so that you can never, um, it's keeping you stuck and stagnant, stagnant so that you can never move forward, um, enjoy financial freedom, have flexibility, have your time back to do the things that you need to do for yourself, what you want to do for yourself, what you want to do for your family, your friends, your, um, your spouses, your, you know, girlfriends and boyfriends just have the freedom to live your life like God intended. And this is what is happening in this suit, in this season, um, evolution. People are waking up to who they really are and knowing that they can cr create and manifest. They have the power uh, within them. The kingdom of heaven is within you. So you have no codependency on anything or any body outside of you because it all comes from within as above so below and so people are no longer uh, refusing to see who they really are no longer um, listening to all these talking heads in their ears you need to do this you need to do that you know that's keeping them st stuck and stagnant that is no more. And so um, people are having to give up their resilience, um, trying to control you or control other people because you're no longer being in this stalemate, stagnant energy. You're taking action and moving forward. You're refusing to compromise. You're no longer lacking persistence. You're walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. You are exhausted and had enough. Enough is enough. And you are communicating this to people. Or others are communicating this to people who um, were trying to keep them under their control. And this could be mothers, fathers, lovers, brothers, sisters, cousins, bosses, business partners, whoever. They're letting it be known. They're being very outspoken at this time or you're being outspoken at this time. Um, you could be a, a Gemini, uh, Aries, a Scorpio, um, a fire sign, or someone involved in this situation could be those signs. So yes, um, people are being uh, getting their energy back, um, being very energetic, moving this energy, being very extroverted and outspoken. And letting people know what they're not going to accept anymore. They're not dealing with this fear and doubt. All of this imbalances and anxiety. Not being present. Just stress. Just constantly working, working, working. And still burden. Still can't enjoy the money that they're making. Because they have to pay all of these bills. It's not enough money. Um, so they're always robbing people to pay Paul. Or... Uh, robbing Peter to pay Paul or could be robbing people as well. Who knows? Um, doing all these scams and schemes and money frauds. And um, people are feeling like they have mastered um, burdens. 
and they're they're once wanting to free themselves. They have um, mastered not answering the call, answering their their calling and their purpose, or tapping into their creativity. Not being able to celebrate, you know, not having any hope for the future, being in despair, everything falling apart, not having any hope, not being able to see what's going to happen, what's what's coming next. People are just like, no, I am letting go of the past, not holding on to people, places and things that no longer serve me and taking action. Stepping into the role of leadership, being bold and courageous, optimistic, being charismatic, energetic, stepping into entrepreneurship, being creative, being passionate about it, accepting the challenge and support from others to complete their goals. And letting go of all of these obsessions and addictions is like coping mechanisms to keep people stuck and stagnant. And so for from a relationship standpoint, stance as well, um, yes, these karmic energies are receiving the message that everything is being balanced out for you, Empress or Emperor. And um, they was refusing to see it. They was wanting other people to refuse to see who you are. And it caused a lot of chaos and conflict and confusion in this situation, trying to win at all costs over you, trying to steal from you and cloak themselves in your energy instead of just doing their own inner work. And they thought they was going to get away with that. I don't know why. But everything, they're experiencing tower moments at this time. Everything is crashing and crumbling. Um, And this is the day. They're realizing that they, um, they were not having a good time. Whoever was doing this to you all, they're not having a good time anymore that they misunderstood that you're not their victim. And it's them that is losing. People are walking away from them. They're in a barren land. They're in a dry land. There's no love in this situation, no romance, no um, healing. And everything flows through love. God is not in this situation at all. This is not the will of God. For the people that they were trying to control or for them. And they're receiving back all of this energy that they sent towards you all. Doing all of this spell work, black magic, voodoo. It is all going back to them. Right now as I speak in this moment. And they have to reap everything that they have sown. They were very unsuccessful. They invested in the wrong thing. And the truth has come out and a lot of people have mental clarity at this time. They have been awakened to what was really going on behind the scenes. And people are letting go of the past and moving forward to calmer waters. And this has everybody who was trying to control people with witchcraft heavily burdened at this time. And you have let go of the past. You're not dwelling in the past. You're not bitter. You don't have any resentments for any moves that you have made or any actions that you have taken. And you're not stuck in the past. They could not block you and stop you. And you didn't have you don't have any karmic karmic lessons that you have to repeat. And this has this person heavily burdened. 
and also these karmics they have to move on as well and they didn't have a plan b so they're about to be uh, you know working very hard toiling and labor um because they were stealing your energy to manifest and to live off of and i hope you all have called all of your energy back whoever was profiting off of your energy that did not have your best interest in their mind and in their heart um call your energy back to to you the energy that they stole from you and profited with it call all of that back everything that they manifested was that was good call it all back to you and this person is heavily burdened because this is karmic justice this is your justice everything is being balanced out for you in this season and a lot of them are facing legal matters as well for all of this magic that they were doing witchcraft and this has brought endings nothing but endings in their life in every area of their of their lives that they wanted you to have endings is happening to them now and you're experiencing a new beginning and God has spoken touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm if God is for you who can be against you no weapon formed against you shall prosper you are more than a conqueror. You are entering, <clears throat> have entered into God's rest, into your promised land. And these giants, they were in your promised land, but God said, that is yours. That's your promised land. And so they, these giants was trying to keep you out of your promised land. They were in your promised land, enjoying your blessings, stealing your energy, being your enemy. And they were doing this energetically and spiritually. We fight not against flesh and blood, but spiritual wickedness in high places. So that's why you have you had on the whole arm of God and they and a mighty shield, and they could not take you down because the battle is the Lord's, and He does not lose any battles. And everything happens in divine timing for a reason, because He knows the end from the beginning. He's the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end and everything in between so when things don't happen on our timing it's because of what god has already ordered for our steps he's ordered the days the steps of all of our days all things work together for the good of those who love the lord and are called according to his purpose and so it's divine timing it is your season and I'm hearing that um, scripture, I think it's Isaiah 60 and 1, arise and shine for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. So lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, you ancient doors. And the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? He is a Lord strong and mighty and mighty in battle. And he has won this battle for you. And all you have to do is continue to trust, praise, worship, be grateful, give gratitude and thanks. When um, King Jehoshaphat was leading the armies, he went to the Lord and he was like, Lord, that we're outnumbered. Um, there's no way we can physically win this war. And so God told him to praise, tell them to praise and worship. And they had already won the war before they started to come towards them and they plundered them. The war was already won. The battle was already won because they trusted in God and they praised and worshiped. And God fought all of their battles. So it's great benefits to be on the Lord's side. Now, I wouldn't dare be on that other side. Now, knowing all that I know, I was once on that side because I wasn't born saved or living for God. I had to transform and renew my mind and get on the Lord's side. And so this has all been about 
your identity in Christ, your identity in who you are. And a lot of people have been experiencing a identity crisis. And so that is what has caused the stuckness and the stagnation and waiting for other people to lead and guide you and direct your path. And so of taking control of your own life and taking your power back. And so now people are waking up and uh, stumbling to their leadership roles, their positions, kings and queens, empress and empress. And not holding back, not backing down to any giants going in to take what is ours and what was promised to us. Birthright blessings for being obedient is a covenant. God swore on oath to Abraham to give it to us. And so we're no longer wandering around in the desert, in the wilderness for 40 years. No, that time is over. God has raised up a powerful generation that is going to go in and take over, take what is ours. We didn't come to take sides. We came to take over because it, it belongs to us. All right. So you all are about to be living in the moment, um, in the present moment, enjoying your spiritual, enjoying the present moment, operating in your spiritual gifts that God has given you. Bringing hope, offering hope, healing, balance to those who are thirsty, operating in your light work, whatever God has called you to do, um, and communicating what you're seeing, what God is showing you, and what he's telling you. And your life is going to be very peaceful and in harmony and blessed. You are the blessing. So don't forget that. There's a lot of people going to be um, disappointed. There's a lot of people who are going to wish they would have treated you better. And there's a lot of people taking action on your behalf, no matter who they have to upset or disappoint. So everything that God promised you is coming to you um, swiftly, fast. There are going to be a lot of fast changes. This is your winning season. You are going to have abundance of love, romance, um, and wealth as well peace, harmony, balance, because you are in alignment. And they're taking action. You're taking action. And everything has come full circle. It is divine timing. All right, star seeds. that is the message. I love you all. God loves you. Love and light. Treat yourselves and others right. I will talk to you all soon. Peace, love, joy, happiness, and bliss be with you.